If over the last 20 years or so, you or your kid went to school here or here, there's a pretty good chance you heard expressions like, I love big juicy brains, or maybe you earned a Molly's challenge or two, or maybe you have this unexplained fascination with pandas. Well, if any of those are true, more than likely, Margot Hightower was your principal. Now, just because Mrs. Hightower is retired does not mean she's slowed down at all. Matter of fact, right here at the Soggy Doggy, we carry her homemade line of pet shampoos and soaps. In this, the first episode of Soggy Doggy Tub Talk, we're going to catch up with Mrs. Hightower and learn about her company, Aroma Soap Lab. Well, thank you so much for coming, Margo, and being part of our very first Tub Talk. Yay! I'm so <laughs> excited exciting. to be here. This is yeah. awesome. I'm glad you're here. And uh, would you introduce us to your dogs here? I would love to. This is my little Tuscany. She is a 15-year-old Jack Russell Terrier, and she loves to do lots of things. Uh, she loves to... Bark at dogs on TV. <laughs> oh, of course. And she loves to get snacks. Okay. She loves to sit for a snack and she has fun. She likes to play with actually just myself and my husband. Well, she's an older dog. She's an yeah. older dog. Yeah, yeah. But this guy, this is Zeus, and he is five years old, and he is 33 and a half pounds oh. of, of just big might. Her pure muscle. Pure muscle, but <laughs> actually he is a silly dog. He, he has so much personality that he pretty much runs the house. Oh, that's great. And he loves to sleep in bed. <laughs> he likes to sleep in, and he likes to go all the way down under the covers. And then he comes back up in the middle of the night and he likes to sleep on a pillow. That is so Sometimes cute. he just curls up next to one of us and <laughs> I feel like I have an instant heater in bed. That's always nice in the winter. It's right? perfect right now. <laughs> I'll take it. So when he when he goes up, does he just have his head on the pillow? Oh, oh that yes. is that's very oh, cute. Oh yes. <laughs> and sometimes he kind of snuzzles in, so he just tries to get as close as he can. Oh, that's great. Ooh, well, let's get going on the bath. Wonderful. What we want to do before bathing, we always want to start with brushing. Yes. And for Zeus, I would have you use your Zoom Groom. You've okay. got that one there. I got this one. Okay. Yeah, it's got rubber tips and it does a nice job. It, it's very gentle on the skin. You don't have to push hard at all. Just oh, kind of. So nice. And you can even scrub with it if you wanted oh. to. Okay. Some dogs like it better when it's just with the grain. Oh. Other dogs okay. like it when you scrub, it feels like a massage to okay. them. I'm going to do Tuscany with a comb okay. and just make sure she doesn't have any knots or anything oh, like that. That's great. She's going to love that. So She likes to shed a lot. Oh, does she? Yes. Yeah. So how long have you been retired now from the school district? Oh my goodness, it's I'm starting year three already. It does oh not gosh. seem possible. That goes by so fast, doesn't it? It goes by so fast. <laughs> so uh, how is life different now that you're retired from the school district? You know, I don't remember what day of the week it is. <laughs> I think I, I use a calendar even more than I did before, when I was in a principal, I was like, oh my goodness, I thought I was tied to a calendar then. But oh yeah, you had a really busy schedule oh, then, yeah. Yeah, but I always had somebody else watching out for me. <laughs> that's true. So now I kind of have to take that role on, and that's just been crazy. But uh, every day is a Saturday, so I have nothing to complain that's about. That's very good. Yeah. You miss the kids? I really miss the kids. Yeah, I, I think bet. out of everything, I miss them the most. Yeah. They really energized me, and they, they just did so much for how I felt every day because they always had compliments and always said such nice things, <laughs> you know, and they always wanted to do their best, and it was so fun to be with the kids. They kept me young, and then I actually knew what was going on in the in the cartoons and everything That's else. Right, and now yeah. I'm now I don't know as much <laughs> of, of what's happening, so I don't feel. But of, of course, my nieces and nephews keep me young too. That does help. Yeah. So, uh, do you ever run it, uh, into people at the grocery store, or they're all grown now? Or yes, yeah, yes, and they have driver's license, or they. <laughs> I actually have kids that have. Um, 
asked me to be their Facebook friends. Oh, and that's fun. They're married. They have their own kids, and it's it's fun to see what they've done. Yeah, it's really a special to yeah. get that chance to talk with I, them. I feel the same way. We've been in business for 18 years, and. I've had some employees that have gone on to go to college and become vets, and it's been so fun to watch that over the years. And then uh, others that are doing uh, work with service animals or dog training. Oh, wow. And so I know exactly what you mean. It's really neat to watch them grow and become. Yes, right? anything that they want to. Yeah. I think that's what I love. That's I love fantastic. to see what they end up doing. So um, the nice thing about your dogs, they don't need a lot of brushing. Right, so. <laughs> right. which was one of the reasons why we, we chose these breeds, too. Yeah. So we're going to start, and of course, we are going to use Margo's shampoo and soap on Yay! these guys. So we carry them in two different ways. We have in a bar soap format and then also in a shampoo format. And we're going to do one on each of them, and that way uh, we can kind of compare as we're going through the bath. So which one is Zeus going to get? Zeus is going to get the soap. The soap. Yes. Okay. So we'll take the label off here. Wonderful. And we this will. This soap is wonderful. It's not just great for dogs, but it's great for, for people too. It's all natural mm -hmm. and it's all olive oil and, and coconut uh, wonderful oils and essential oil of lavender that helps the skin. And especially with Zeus, he has drier skin, mm -hmm. so the olive oils are really, really help his skin a oh, lot. Oh, good, good. So, so um, how is it that um, the dog ones are different than the people ones that you make? Because well, you don't make them just for dogs, right? No, I make them for people too. Actually, the, I would do nothing different except for utilizing, this is a lavender essential oil only. Okay. Um, sometimes with my lavender, I add um, a vanilla. Okay. And so I don't use the vanilla with the, uh, with the dogs. Okay. I just use the straight lavender because that's better for them. Great. Yeah. I, uh, it's very nice soap. I think uh, anybody who tried it would be very impressed with it. You can definitely tell the difference right away, the quality, because you are using very nice ingredients. Yes, in there. I use all organic ingredients, so they're wonderful. So I'm going to get Tuscany wet, and then I'll hand the sprayer okay. over to you. Okay. And I'll use the shampoo on Tuscany. Okay. And you said Tuscany is 15? She is 15. Oh, my goodness. She's doing great for yeah, a 15-year-old. she is. She'll be 16 in May. There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh Zeusy. Wow. Oh, does that feel good? I couldn't just stand oh. here while you were doing all the washing. I got to help you a little <laughs> I bit. I appreciate <laughs> that. I never get help. Usually I do one at a time in the bathtub at home, but now that I know that I can come here, I'm going to come here and do this. It is a lot easier than doing it at home, that's for sure. Oh, yes. It's a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll get warm. Yes. Okay. So, uh, how how did you get into the uh, the soap business? That's not always a uh, intuitive jump from well, education of how many years? <laughs> I was in education for thirty years. Thirty years. Yes. There you go. Thirty years, and I I ended up getting into the soap business. Just by, by chance, actually, I have been utilizing this soap for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And the gal that I bought the business from last February moved to South Carolina. Okay. And she needed to sell her business. And I believed in her product so much. And so I ended up just, I ended up buying the business from her and learned how to make the soap. And I had a three week time period because she moved that fast. So I had a very high learning curve. <laughs> yeah. And I want to tell kids that no matter how old you are, you get to start over and learn new things. And it's just <laughs> been so much fun. Well, yeah, it's an, it's an adventure, isn't it? Oh, I mean, there's amazing the things you don't know when you do something new. Oh, I know. And I, I think that's part of the excitement of it all. And I have, um, I'm so glad that I, I found the product a long time ago, but I really believe in it, so it's really such a wonderful 
She sold me her recipes, okay. which are secret recipes. Mm -hmm. We can't share those with you. This is like an industry mm -hmm. secret? It's an industry <laughs> secret. <laughs> but oh my goodness. Oh, good shake, Tuscan. Good so shake. You smell so good. Mm -hmm. So you said you had about three weeks? Uh, I had about three weeks and she taught me all kinds of things and I realized how much science, I loved science and I realized how much I missed it. But I also love the fact I'm an art major as well and I get to make so much creativity with the art of designing the soaps and designing the scents of the soaps. Well that is interesting that you say that because when I was... Uh, at your place watching you make the soap? I did find it very interesting, the process. You were, you were inventing the soap fragrance and everything right there on the spot. Yeah. So I can see where there is a lot of artistic um, uh, aspects to it. There is. And there, it's finding the right scent and, and coming up with a creative name. So for your Valentine's, when you came over, I made a, I call, I'm calling it Cupid's Dessert. Oh, very good. Because it's a strawberry chocolate. So it's a lot of fun. Oh, these, look how shiny you are. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we're going to do one more round. So you, uh, I remember watching you pick the different fragrances, and then you have to pick the different colors. I have to pick the different colors, and they're all natural micas that you use, and so it's fun to mix the colors. There you go. There you go, Tuscan. Good job, baby girl. Yes. So what are the differences between the bar soap and the shampoo? The shampoo is obviously, it's more, it's more of the liquid and it goes on really quick. The soap, it takes a while to lather it in, mm -hmm. but um, there's just differences as far as what, um, like the, the soap has more of a light consistency uh -huh. and it does bring a lot more it bring, both of them bring a really good shine to the dog but the shampoo I think you use more of it I believe that I, the, the bars of soap really last a they long last a little longer they last a little longer and so but I use both on the dogs now, Tuscany, she's a little bit of an old, she's 15 now, mm -hmm. so she's got a little bit more oils in the coat, right. just naturally, and uh, mm -hmm. I could tell the difference a lot. I did a, a, a wash and a rinse, which is really common with older dogs, Right. and boy, I can really feel that it's working a lot more now on the second one, on the second because she's a little bit oilier of a right. dog. But I can see what you mean about how it kind of spreads in a little bit quicker, but not as sudsy as the bar of soap. Right. Yeah. But it is very easy to use. Oh, there you go, Tuscan. Yeah, now we're getting a massage. And then don't forget to use your Zoom Groom okay. to work that shampoo into the skin. Okay. It'll, uh, and the soap that you're using, it'll help exfoliate the skin a little bit, okay. but it also works it down to the skin and make sure you get a really good clean. Okay. And also it feels like a massage to the dogs. So they really oh, like that. They love massages, let oh, me tell yeah. you. Zeus likes to curl up in the morning with me and cuddle, and then he loves getting his massage in the morning. I never would have guessed that Tuscany had this much hair. <laughs> She's got this. Now that it's all soapy, it's, it's really sticking up there. She's got a lot of coat to her. Yeah. You look like it's a flat coat, but you got yeah, lots of coat. Got a, she's got a rough coat. Yeah. So she's half smooth and half rough. Okay. Well, that's great. Feels good, Zeus. Yes. And it's a nice, light fragrance. Yes. Uh, I, I like that light fragrance. Yeah. You got a good shake there, Tuscan. Good shake. Oh, that's nice and warm. Now, uh, when you're ready to do the face, I also have 
Peerless shampoo oh, good. that we can use on the I'm head. Good. Yeah. Good. Now, I would imagine with all the oils that you've got in your shampoo that you probably don't need a conditioner, right? I usually don't put any conditioner on mine. Okay. But yeah, the oil, the natural oils are really good. So I'll go ahead and start on the okay. head for Tuscany. Okay. Now one of the tips I like to tell people is to have the head pointing down okay. so that the water runs down. over and they don't inhale the water, especially okay. with Zeus's yeah, short, with nose. short nose. It, that'll make it so he doesn't inhale it as much. So. I know, this is not the fun part, is it? No. Nobody likes having the head cleaned, I know. It's like, what? What? Are you going to get your head cleaned too? And then we'll do a, a real good rinse. And the important part about the rinse mm -hmm. is that we get it all out. Right. So what you want to do is keep the, the nozzle really close to the skin. Okay. And by doing that, it'll kind of pool up and it gets all that soap off of the skin. Sometimes people rinse from a distance, and they're so water repellent, the water bounces off. Okay. But if you keep it real close to the skin, just like that, you'll do, you'll do great. Okay. So, and then when we're done towel drying, we'll clean the ears oh, and, yeah, my, and do the blow dryer a little that'll bit. That'll be good, because Zeus has had some sore ears lately. Get them all clean. Get them all cleaned out. So you, you got the business, and then you probably were planning on going to lots of farmer's I markets. I was planning on going to farmer's market, but you know with COVID, that time, it made us um, be a little more creative. So yes. I've been doing something called, um, I call it my market in the garage. Okay. So I've done three of those so far, and I was actually going to do another one this Saturday, but because of the possible snow, I'm oh, yeah. going to wait for another week. Yeah. But um, we're going to go ahead and try that. But it works really well, and people are good about. Oh. Yeah, that's that's good the way you're doing that. Is that there. Good? Yeah, let it flow over the top of the head and down. Okay. You want to, the soap comes off the head pretty easily. Yep. It's You really want to do that thorough one on the body. So okay. I'm going to let it set on Tuscany a little bit. Go ahead and do all your rinsing. Okay. So what is it that you like most about uh, making soaps? I think for me it's the aromatherapy and the relaxation. It's just very relaxing mm -hmm. and I kind of just I turn on some spa music and I feel like I'm just in a whole other world. And people really love the soap. And I love it when people give me ideas for new soap, I, you know, different scents and different things they'd like to try. <laughs> it's really fun doing that. Well, hey, Tusky, you're a little thing compared to this, this one. What are you trying to hide? Yeah, you are. What are you trying to hide? Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, you are. Oh, they smell so nice, oh, too. Oh, they smell so good? Yeah, they do. Wow. Yeah. At home, when I dry him, after I dry him, he goes flying around the house, and he goes running, and he does his superhero thing. And then you run, and he'll get Tuscany, because Tuscany doesn't usually like her baths as much as Bruce does. Okay. <laughs> You can see the shine on the skin. Oh yeah, very, very shiny. Yeah. What's been the most challenging for you? Um, I think the most challenging is just marketing. Yeah. Just trying to get things out there and trying to let people experience it and try the product. And just getting people in. And doing it where it just, you know, it makes people feel safe and feel good about not exposing themselves to anything. Right. Oh, you look so much better. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And if you want, uh, with dirty ones, uh, just put them in the bottom of the tub. Okay. They'll help soak, help soak up some of the water. Okay. And then they don't end up sitting in a puddle when we start drying them. Okay. Oh, Come here, Tuscany. Come, on, Come here, Tuscany. Girl. 
There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hi, Tuscany. Huh? Oh, thank you. Huh? Oh. Oh, you. <laughs> Do you like to do your superhero jump? Yes, you do. Well, he's a smart boy. He's trying what he can. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the nice part about a bath, it helps get out <laughs> some of that extra coat that you don't need around the house. Yeah, that is so true. Oh, oh, get another towel here. But uh, getting them uh, with the towels really good is important. Our blow dryers don't work with heat. What they do is they work by getting uh, just blasting off with force of air. Okay. So um, a lot of times people make the mistake of not towel drying first yeah. and getting the bulk of it off. And then it takes much longer to get them dry. Yeah. But Tuscany especially is going to be very fluffy when oh, we're done. She will be very fluffy. Zeus will look about the same. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you? What's it been like for you during this whole... Well, we've been very fortunate. Uh, we, we still have people coming in for baths. Mm -hmm. um, people are, are helping us out by shopping more yeah. than uh, they did in the past. Uh, we are really fortunate in the way we're set up that, you know, in, in this shop we have walls between the tubs. Yeah. And in our other shops we didn't have walls, but what we did is we put in dividers, plastic dividers that go from the ceiling to a little bit off the floor so that the dogs can still go underneath them. And that's created a really nice separation. And people have actually enjoyed those. Yeah. Because now when someone's blowing coat, it doesn't blow oh, over to, to the next side. So I don't know if those will ever go away, to tell you the yeah. truth. Everybody really likes those. Yeah. But we've been uh, doing our best to, to be busy and and uh, take care of our customers, take care of our, our well, staff, take too. Take great care of your customers. And our uh, dogs are spoiled when they get their food delivered straight yeah. from them. <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that is another thing. And everything else. And we even like your toys because Zeus is a major toy player. He gets to play with lots and lots of toys. Yeah, He's a his, lucky dog. His favorite game is kill the squeaker. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Got to get that old squeaker. Yes. Well, he's very playful. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he likes to get up on the couch and look out the window, too. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, he likes to look out at the water. That's his, his reflection time. <laughs> he even has his little meditation time, don't you, Duke? So how do you do the ears? So uh, we do the ears by spraying the cotton with some ear cleaner. Okay. And uh, it's not how much ear cleaner you get on there. It's just that you get a little bit all over the cotton. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And then you wipe in as far as you can see okay. and then to the tip. And then look in the nooks and crannies and see if you missed anything. Okay. So, hey Juice, can I clean your ears real quick? So you just kind of okay. get into the canal. Don't be shy about getting in there. Okay. As long as you're not going any farther okay. than you can see, which we're not going to because okay. his ears aren't that, aren't that big. Okay. And you just kind of get in there and then his ears and dogs with ears that stand up tend to be cleaner okay. and his look really good okay. and you just check to see if you missed anything but I think those look pretty good okay. a lot of times um, they just get a little bit of dirt surface dirt okay and you can see that cleaned them up really nice so, okay. yeah. so uh, why don't you walk me through the whole process of making soap from beginning to to end but don't give me your secret recipe I okay. don't want to. <laughs> Well, first of all, I, I go through and, and figure out what it is that I need to make. What are, what are the soaps that are uh, popular or needing some extra? People are always asking for certain types. And huh? So I always do an inventory and I look at that first. And yeah, you have a big, sh uh, you have, have a whole room. I have a whole room. I transferred, I put a, my, I turned a whole bedroom into, into my little soap store. And what I didn't realize until I went over there is it, that room overfloweth. It, and it <laughs> does overflow. So you have a room that's nothing but your soaps. Nothing but my soaps. And I actually, I make a lot of other little products too, because I like to make sure that I'm doing lots of things that people are wanting. And that will help their skin, especially during these winter months. Yeah, I know I'm drying out. I know yeah. the dogs do too. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that looks so much better. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at so that once, you, here. once you know so once what's know needed. So what I'm going to make, then I, I go and I pick out um, the scents. Okay. And then as soon as I get the scents, I bring them upstairs because I have my little lab downstairs. Okay. And I do everything in my kitchen. Okay. And then I have these um, molds, these soap molds. Okay. And I have to put saran wrap um, to hold the soap in. Okay. So I get all, I bring everything. It takes, the, the most time is prepping to make okay. the soap. Okay. And then I have to weigh out all of the organic ingredients. Okay. So all the different oils, the jojoba oil, the avocado oil, right. the rice bran oil, the canola oil. And those uh, have to be precise, they don't they? They have to be precise. If, yeah. if you go over, it does not make for a good experience. <laughs> it, it really makes it difficult, actually. That sounds like something you've learned. Uh, it, yes, in <laughs> fact, I actually named one of my soaps the COVID soap because it was just, it looked like one of those little COVIDs. Oh, and really? Yes, it was crazy. <laughs> so that's what, it was still, we could use it, but it, it yeah. It was definitely a discount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so uh, after you've got it all. So after I get the molds all wrapped and ready and all everything weighed out, then I go downstairs, I get the lye. And then the lye, um, after I get the lye, I add some water and sugar and a little bit of salt. And then it, I have to, the science is making sure that the oils are heated up okay. and to the same, to a, a little, they have to be within 10 degrees. Wow. Okay. So I, it takes a while for the lye to get itself ready. Okay. And then that's where the science takes place. And then once I do that, it's ha everything happens really fast. Okay. So you have to have everything set up and ready to go, or it's just chaos. It's all preparation. It's all preparation and patience. Oh, it sounds fun though. Yeah, and then I, I, again, I just have some fun music playing. Sometimes it's spa music, sometimes it's dance music. It's just whatever I feel like at the moment. And oh, that's great. it's just fun. That's and then awesome. I have some friends that will come and help me make it. <laughs> even better. It, which makes it even better because it doesn't take as long because yeah. you can just do it quickly. Yeah. So, but it, it once you get it going, Boy, it starts it and you have to go from start to finish and yeah. it goes fast. That's so good. I can make three loaves at a time okay. in a recipe. So that's, okay. they're five pounds each. So it's 15 pounds of soap when I make one recipe. Okay. And then do you just let it set or do you put it in an I, oven? Or? I put it in the oven okay. and um, I have to also clean the edges okay. and make sure that it's ready. So when you slice it, it'll come out really easily out of the mold. Okay. It's really cool. All right. Are you and just like using a big cleaver to cut it or not? <laughs> well, I do have one of those. I always <laughs> tell my husband, watch out. Um, no, but I, I love, I have a special soap cutter. It, it's okay. made out of guitar strings. Okay. And it's set up so they're all in their inch and increments, and then you just come down once. Right. And then you do a nice thing at the end. You, you have to smooth the edges. Okay. And make sure it's nice and soft. And then um, I put it in, I let it, uh, put it in baskets, and they have to, dry for five days oh wow so they they have to cure curing okay yeah, so it, and i do it's a almost like a cure. cheese or something yeah some people cure their subs for four weeks wow. but i do a special i add a little salt and i put it in the oven and that i change change okay. that zeus what do you think does that work yeah well that sounds like a lot of fun yeah it really is yeah it really is Shall we get these guys a little bit dry? Yes, I think they're. I think she's wanting some some heat. Yeah, let's let's start with Tuscany. Okay. I don't think it'll take much to dry Zeus. I don't think so. Either. And um, he's also in the towels already. So when we use the blow dryer, we got a variable speed. The knobs right over here. Okay. The trick is keep it close to the skin. Okay. You want to do small circles and stay there in the same spot. Okay. People are used to a hair dryer. They're worried about burning the dog, so they do this. Yeah. You don't have to do that because it's not okay. heated. Okay. Just keep it right there. Right in the same spot. Yep. Take your time. Put it, that on there. Or That's no? more for when dogs are shedding a lot. Got it. Okay. So this will make it so it's not so loud by not having that. Okay. And um, also when you start it up, uh, start towards the back side okay. and work your way uh, up okay. so they get used okay. to it. All right, you guys did so good. I got some treats for you for afterwards, too. We are so spoiled. <laughs> so we're going to do some brushing. Okay. Just And this is just cleanup brushing. Okay. We already did most of the work. It's just 
just to get those little ones that are flying away. So while we're doing that, um, what is it uh, you'd want to say to your former students? Oh my goodness, there's so many things I want to say to my former students. <laughs> I miss you a lot, <laughs> and I love it when I run into you in different places. Whether you're working somewhere that I run in and get something and you recognize me, I just love it when you <laughs> recognize me and, and say hello and catch me up on what's happening in your life and in your family's life. And, I hope you guys are still reading lots of great books. <laughs> That's right. And I really hope that my my fifth and sixth graders, because at one point it was my sixth graders that I gave a dime to when they they left the school. I and, remember that. And then I wanted them to save money. So I hope you are saving your money <laughs> so that you're doing some great things for what you want to accomplish in your life. And I want you to know that you're never too old to start something new. So just know that if a principal can start something new, you can can too. And know that I always believe in you and I believe in the soggy doggy because this is an amazing place for both of my amazingly spoiled dogs. Well, I'm glad you liked it. I it's, loved it. It's been very nice having you here. I really appreciate you, especially since this is our first Sub talk. This is very special to have you as I part feel of like that. I so. should have a crown or something. <laughs> I just feel so special. And where, so do they. Where can, um, if people would like to uh, get in contact with you or, or buy online, where can they get that from you? They can go on Facebook and they can go to Aroma Soap Lab. Okay. And they also can go to aromasoaplab.com and they okay. can purchase things. No dashes or anything. No dashes just, or anything. Okay. Just Aroma Soap Lab. Dot com. Com. Okay, and okay. then we'll make sure to put that into the description for our YouTube page so that you can click on the link below and you can check out her website. Uh, we'll also have a link uh, to the Facebook okay. and we'll put in a link so that you can, uh, if you want to come to Soggy Doggy and buy it, we also will have it there as well. And we can do delivery, we can do pickup, or you can just come in the store. We carry Aroma Soap Lab at all four of our locations. Woohoo! Yeah. We're happy about that. So, um, as I mentioned, that this is the first. Uh, we hope to do more of these about once a month. We'd like to have someone come in and, and we'll do a talk with them. Uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up button. And if, if you like the content, please subscribe. We'd love to hear your comments about anything you'd like to see in the future as well. So I can't thank you enough, Mrs. Hightower, for wow. coming along. Thank you, Your Mr. Dogs, Gretzky. This is awesome. They smell great now. They so do. they're fact, very good. They smell in Tuscany going, hey, wow. <laughs> so thank you again. And thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you real soon.